You cannot follow and obey the living God without the guidance of His Holy Spirit. Too many people have replaced the Holy Spirit, who is alive and the Spirit of the living God. They have replaced that Spirit for things that are not true, that cannot lead you, that are not alive. They have replaced the Holy Spirit for pastors. They have replaced the Holy Spirit for wise counselors and teachers who they believe are hearing from the Holy Spirit. They have replaced the Holy Spirit with this book right here. They have replaced the Holy Spirit for their Bible, thinking that the Bible can give them life and give them truth. But they reject the Holy Spirit who is the life giver and who leads and guides the man of God into all truth. If you have not received the Holy Spirit, you cannot possibly follow Jesus. Those who receive the Holy Spirit are led by the Holy Spirit. They are not led by a Bible. They are not led by a pastor. But they are led by the guidance of the Holy Spirit. I want to read you the words of Jesus in Luke chapter 11. I'm going to start in verse 5. And he said to them, Which of you shall have a friend? And go to him at midnight and say to him, Friend, lend me three loaves. For a friend of mine has come to me on his journey, and I have nothing to set before him. And he will answer from within and say, Do not trouble me. The door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give and give to you. I say to you, though he will not rise and give to him because he is a friend, yet because of his persistence, he will rise and give him as many as he needs. So I say to you, ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and him who knocks it will be opened. If a son asks for bread from any father among you, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent instead of a fish? Or if he asks for an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask Him? We must be persistent in asking for the Holy Spirit. And Jesus promises the gift of the Holy Spirit to those who ask of Him. When you pray, ask the Lord Jesus to give you the Holy Spirit. And the Father who is in heaven will give you the Holy Spirit. Don't go to people who you think will give the Holy Spirit to you. You know, I can pray for you, but unless you go to the Holy Spirit and ask Jesus for the Holy Spirit yourself, you will not receive the Holy Spirit. I can pray for people all day long and they will not receive the Holy Spirit unless they take the step of faith to go and pray and diligently seek the Lord Jesus for themselves. Jesus will meet those who seek Him where they are at. There's a lot of people who are confused that say, they, they ask me and they say, would you pray for me to receive the Holy Spirit? Or they ask of me, where do you live so that you may baptize me that I may receive the Holy Spirit? And I live thousands of miles away. But the Lord Jesus is near to the man who is diligently seeking him. And he will meet you right where you are. You know, I just seek Jesus and he gives me the Holy Spirit. I was very confused myself how to pray. Do I pray to the Father? Do I pray to the Holy Spirit? Do I pray to Jesus? If I haven't been baptized by the right person, will I not receive the Holy Spirit? These were all the things that I was confused about. But I tell you that if you persist in seeking Jesus, He will meet you right where you are, and He will start to teach you right where you are the things 
about the living God. He will give you the Holy Spirit, and He will show you how to trust and obey Him. If you haven't been baptized, He will make a way for you to be baptized. If you haven't received the gift of the Holy Spirit, He will show you what you must do to receive the Holy Spirit. He will meet those who seek Him right where they are on their knees. Receive the Holy Spirit. Go to Jesus in prayer and diligently pursue this gift. May the grace of Jesus be with you.